Time to learn for Fable to learn about RimWorld. Maybe. Possibly. I've seen friends play this game, but I have not. Yeah. Alright, see you later, Petra. Go do your training arc. Hey, hey, people. Seth here. Today, I'll be reviewing RimWorld, because it hit 1.0 recently, and it's pretty fucking great. Huh. It's made by a few oh. people in Montreal, China, including this guy, who Montreal. wants you to buy his book. RimWorld is a sci-fi colony simulation game, which includes, <coughs> but is not limited to, okay. forceful organ harvesting, cannibalism, uh. catching carcinomas from breathing in toxic fallout, and cargo pods falling from the sky directly on your favorite animal. Rim what World. the hell? That, that... Don't worry about it. <laughs> what do you mean, don't worry about it? I worry about everything, and this just makes me worry more, because I feel like it would fall on a wolf or a dog that I specifically liked. Well, that's the thing. The more you worry about it, the more likely it is it's going to happen. That's Rim World. Expect a baby, a newborn baby, to be infected with cannibalism and for a random cat to suddenly give someone else AIDS. What? You played this. You played this game, Gage. I think. How did how did no, you what infect if, someone no, with cannibalism? One of my friends who plays this game, who is what uh, I like to call the human version of Sin from Murder Drones. Oh, I still uh, haven't watched Murder Drones. People, I need to. She plays this game a lot, and she just casually comments on the atrocities that she sometimes causes in the game. And it's enough that one of our DMs just kind of is afraid of her. <laughs> I, I have a question. <clears throat> Same yeah. with How do you infect someone with cannibalism? Yeah. I don't remember the specific term, but whatever those diseases are that specifically cannot be blocked and will kill you. Oh. Wonderful. So it's a head, some sort of head trauma or mental illness. No, it's more like an actual. I I wish I could remember the name, but I know you can get similar, like. I think the name of it derived originally from getting diseases from eating human flesh. I mean, yes, that is very possible, but. Uh... Let's World move forward God. before... It's very similar in the vein I of War Dwarf Fortress. Oh. You generate a planet, you choose some appropriate colonists, which could even... Yeah, it's Dwarf Fortress. Ah, uh, yes, Dwarf Fortress. Another video we're going to have to look at later down the line. Also, if I ever make a video game, I don't think I could do the procedurally generated thing. I would just have everything set to where it is, because... Making everything procedurally generated takes a long time. Or be youthful members of society possessing yeah. skills that will improve your chances of survival, or mm -hmm. mentally challenged apes who can't actually contribute anything meaningful to your colony besides being a walking, breathing, shitting uh, sack of human meat. And then once you've chosen them, you uh, crash land on a location of your choice. The location okay. of your choice could be a reasonable one, like a forest with appropriate vegetation and close proximity Sounds to friendly good. colonies, or you could land in the middle of Malaria Town. Or maybe you'd like to spice things up and crash in a sub-zero ice sheet or a scorching hot desert with no resources. Uh, I'd rather not be an Eskimo or a Berber, so I think I'm good. Honestly. Why would you ever possibly do that? Because it's fun. Your ultimate goal? Get yourself a working ship and get the fuck off this planet. Okay, so you're trying to give planet, but that survive. explains the Warhammer comparisons here. Being that long and managing the combined autism of multiple colonists who think beating the shit out of each other just prior to a pirate raid is a good idea what? will make that exceedingly difficult. When starting a new game, RimWorld asks you to choose from a selection of three different AI storytellers. These influence the events and the frequency at which they occur as part of your colony's story. In no particular order, they What do I mean overall story? Like, yes. Does it have a story going on in the background? Sort of, kind of. It just is more a narrative of the, of the way you find and get things and how people react to it. You know, like the hodgepodge of Dwarf Fortress that's based on like nine different uh, specific coding errors from three different engines. Oh. Well then, I don't know how to respond to this. Cats can get drunk by stepping in a puddle. 
I remember that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh no, Fable's drunk by looking at this redhead. Oh my god, I'm gonna fight you. <laughs> you can't you fight can't me, you've now contained dysentery. Yeah. I did not drink polluted water. What is this freaking? No, but this? you got so stung by trail? No, but you've gotten stung by a mosquito. They are Cassandra okay, Classic, sad part who is will like progressively increase the challenge your colony experiences by sending a pack of alpha beavers to eat all your trees five times what in a row. What the fuck There's is an alpha teeth. beaver? It's an alpha beaver. What do you mean? But what's different from a normal beaver? Be chillax, who suffers from bipolar disorder. Ties. She does amp Uh... Absolutely nothing for several months, making you question whether or not the game is broken. Then, okay. she'll send two hordes of pirates with sappers who will dig for your defenses while all of your colonists simultaneously catch intestinal parasites yeah. for not wearing appropriate protection when eating ass. And then, what the there's Randy Random. Randy doesn't that hide the fact that the he's fuck? out for your blood and doesn't actually give a shit what happens to your colony. Events will happen, good or bad, but they'll happen consistently. Huh. Randy has previously sent raids, crashed mechanoid ships containing toxic waste, and started a volcanic winter, all in the span of a single afternoon. <laughs> but he made up for it shortly after by instantly domesticating every squirrel on the map to join my colony and <laughs> eat my potatoes. Fuck? Objectively, Randy <laughs> is the best storyteller. He follows no set patterns and keeps you guessing and adapting your strategy. Whereas huh. Phoebe lulls you into a false sense of security. Security and Cassandra, Cassandra can go fuck herself. The game is quite innovative in this. <laughs> I do kind of love that. Cassandra can go fuck herself. But yeah, I can understand him liking random overall because that is kind of something that you would have to deal with. Just random events happening to you. Well, I understand some people going for the one that slowly builds up, but I feel like I would get crushed if I wasn't going fast enough with that kind of thing. In the sense that each colonist has their own background, traits, and personality. This sounds background good in theory. Street if urchin. you worked in a special needs school before and have experience of tard... I'm not sure we have to say that word. ...you'll find yourself right at home. Colonists can have traits ranging anywhere from being kind, hardworking, and having exceptional immunity to being neurotic, depressive, and being a hideously deformed mouth breather. Their oh. backgrounds often mesh together with their traits and create an exceptionally volatile, unstable oh. human being. These are quite diverse and colorful and consist of both a childhood and an adulthood that forms the core of their character. There's probably so many... I feel like I would get all the worst people. Just people that refuse to work. Or sleep all the time. Maybe. It seems weird. My luck is terrible. Fucking backgrounds that I've never... I think even I just seen get them something all. random can... that doesn't look like it should work, but will. Yeah, that sounds like you, I will be honest. We have research scientists, medieval slaves, Japanese pop idols, PUBG players, and that grown sex slaves all living in the same colony. Or is, you can get a special uh... snowflake who, due to their pampered childhood and traumatic adulthood, can do no useful work and sexually identifies as limestone. I recommend. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Probably because it's useless in this game. Wait, limestone is useless? I don't know. No. Oh. But yeah, I'm guessing because they're one of those people who, who just refuse to work now. But the problem is, when you're in a colony, and you're struggling to survive, you have to work. As in the saying of John Locke, those who do not work do not eat. Because everyone has to survive. Well, everyone has to work in order for everyone to survive. Sure, that's the idea. Yeah. Where's, where's the Inquisition when you need people them? nude, handing them some dog food, and sending them out to the wilderness. Oh. Don't worry. They'll be fine. <laughs> oh shit, you got captured by pirates. Don't worry. Help is on the way. <laughs> he sent me three turkeys to help. 
Characters interact with each other and may even love and hate the shit out of each other. An efficient colony needs a variety of skills and people to survive, as every person shines in different tasks and develops them at different rates according to how much they enjoy it. A digger seasoned in mining will feel right at home chipping away iron and exposing my colony to insect infestations. Oh. While the sickly 15 year old boy I bought from a slave trader may not be the optimal person for crafting leather jackets. Owing to yeah, the fact probably that not, honestly. Both his legs and hands with wooden stumps. And oh. you can do that. Every body part can Why? be replaced with prosthetic and bionic parts because people tend to lose them, whether through a stray bullet or getting pecked out by an ostrich. Accidents happen. Rimworld has a fully functional a body part ostrich. and organ system for every living creature in the game. Parts can get damaged, scarred, burned. Are they being murdered by rhinos? Infected yes. and chopped right off. And that's Why? About the Why gist are rhinos randomly? Uh, you know what? I should stop asking the questions. Itself, you need to adapt to different <laughs> environmental and physical threats as you slowly grow. Just a horde of rhinos in coming into your colony, stomping on everything and leaving. Threats, you can even research new and additional technology, giving you access to equipment, resources, and structures that increase your self sufficiency. You can also open up the world map and send caravans to trade with friendly colonies, take missions, okay. and improve diplomatic relations. You I'm can guessing. even start additional colonies. Get ambushed by flesh-eating turtles, build pod launchers, and why are there flesh-eating? Okay, I need I need to stop armor. with the questions, or I'm never gonna stop. Straight into a colony. I like and turtles. Genocide. So Rimworld 1.0 really has it all. Aside from handling food, energy, appropriate accommodations and clothing, defense is probably your most important priority. No yeah, matter how well that. your colony is doing, an unexpected attack can decimate your entire base. Luckily, the AI is pretty predictable, and even the smarter AI patterns can be learned and manipulated. This leads to people constructing increasingly elaborate oh. and sadistic kill boxes, labyrinthine trap mazes, Romanian oh, yeah. corpse freezers, engineered cave-ins, and walk-in Holocaust ovens. Temperature dynamics work quite nicely. You didn't need to call game. them so that. One of my favorite defensive strategies is to bait no, raiders into didn't. entering my base through a narrow, creeping tunnel of granite. As they manage to slowly crawl halfway through the tunnel, I quickly go all Edgar Allan Poe on them and seal the entrance behind them. Since we don't want our guests to get cold, oh. I tell one of my. The, um, what was it? The Amontillado? I forget the name of the yes. poem. Cast of the Amontillado. Yeah, Cast of the Amontillado. The colonists to start a nice roaring fire near the exit using some conveniently placed furniture. We seal the door shut, and that's when they make for realization. The walls are covered in scratches. The tunnel heats to several hundred degrees Celsius. Clothing ignites, flesh fries, and skin melts off the bone. So we literally started a fire at the start, which will leak will which will not leak out anywhere in the building because it's all covered in stone. He will quite literally go through it, covering it in carbon dioxide and just heating up the area. Man will that is horrifyingly oh, yeah. that is horrifyingly efficient. Yeah, I think Amy talked about this once. She probably talked about more than one of these kinds of things. Big and claw at the walls in futile uh, desperation, tearing their nails out while yeah, their organs boil. And then Randy will drop a cargo <laughs> pod containing <laughs> nails out while their organs uh, boil. Dear God. And then Randy will drop a cargo pod containing mm. milk. The best trait, of course, <laughs> is psychopath. That's a huh? bit of a segue, but I felt that I should talk about my current colony. I exclusively recruit psychopaths because they practice what I call moral relativism. And I uh... practice what some would call an organ harvesting operation. <laughs> which personally, yeah. I find to be a very offensive and... This isn't even... I feel like this isn't even the first time he's done this sort of thing in a video game. Bigoted term to describe non-consensual organ arbitrage. Why what? do I do it? Because it's very profitable. A human in Rimworld can provide you with free healthy organs before they need to rest. One of his kidneys, one of his lungs, and a free choice between his liver or heart. My colony makes every attempt to grow smoothly and weed out undesirables who can't adapt to corporate culture. This uh, one didn't dodge so well. At least he'll make a good sofa. It's amazing how quickly this game turns you into a monster. Surprisingly, though, every faction loves me. Besides the raiders, even on the frontiers of civilization, you can't escape the unwashed horde of human rights activism. The soundtrack is pretty I kind of doubt that's why they're doing it, but hey. Hey, Link Bros! As hell if you're not prepared, even if you're prepared, but still hell. keeps asking me to buy it separately, <laughs> together with his book. The graphics are pretty clean and simple. Does he have an action? Does the creator of Rimworld actually have a book? I do wonder that.
I might look that up later. Anyway. Have a certain charm to how minimalistic they are. Another Grimworld is a name of a book series that was done by someone seemingly British. Hmm. It might be an entirely different thing than this. It is possible. Pelotarian in its appearance, but still very pleasant. To close off, Rimworld is very expansive with its content right now, and can easily consume hours and days of your life. It's very addictive, challenging, and frustrating. I simultaneously give my highest recommendation and a word of caution, okay. since I genuinely believe my blood pressure and cortisol levels sharply rise when playing this game. It's fucking great. And there's always mods to fix all the broken shit. Go play it. Enjoy it. Get two hmm. psychic ships crashing in the middle of your base and never touch that retarded shit ever again. What? Oh, at least Randy sent me more milk. A war <laughs> what the hell? To the many members of the Merchant's Guild, which have been generously funded. I don't even know what happened. These videos. What? what is it, You're Fable? You're all truly wonderful. What have do you mean, Mac? Someone gave him more milk, apparently. That's apparently Randy, the storyteller. Randy Random, who just, like, keeps sending him milk in space pods. You know what, I'm not, I'm good. I said I would stop asking questions, and yeah, I will. For this video, at least. Look, just don't worry about it, and we won't tell you about the kookaburras. What the hell is a kookaburra? You said stop asking questions. Uh, I did. But now you have <laughs> me worried. And I am unfortunately a curious wolf. My curiosity almost kills me each and every time, everyone, because I know how bad my luck is. Just don't look up swooping season in Australia. Listen, I know Australia is dangerous as it is already. Monster. I know. What is oh. I said you're a monster. <laughs> this is known. Fable. Uh. <laughs> Gage keeps wanting me to play him a villain. The problem is I haven't had any villains in my comics yet. Gage would make a perfect villain. Probably, and I have one in mind. I just need to get him on the page. It's just he'll be a while. But yeah. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you liked us watching this. If you do, or if you want us to watch something else, if you say, God damn it, you guys should be watching this. Or, God damn it, you should be watching this. Or, I don't know, I should be going to go punch a squirrel. Or, Fable. <coughs> Sorry, my throat is dry. Thank you all so much. I'll see you all later. I'm dying.